All right, this is just a quick video on how to upload your scores to GrooveStats for anyone who might not know. So this is actually my favorite method, which is the QR code uploader. And uh, to do this, you need Simply Love, and you need version 4.8.3 or higher. Um, and the way this works is you have to have um, the Simply Love setting uh, the fail type as immediate continue and if you have that set then when you navigate through the screens at the end of a song uh, there will be a page that shows up with a QR code and all you'll do is just scan that with your mobile phone and uh, if it'll have you log into GrooveStats and once you're logged in it'll submit the score automatically so it's very simple uh, I like doing it after a pass because you get to see like where you're ranked right there um, and you know what other people got on the same song. So the second way, which is really the original way, is by uploading your uh, stats.xml file. So there's this upload ITG scores link and that brings you to this page. And what it's looking for is this stats.xml file, which if you have a, um, a USB that you're uh, tracking scores on on a Dedicab, uh, there'll just be a, a, a file in the in the group 2 folder called stats.xml, which will have all of your scores. If you're using um, local profiles, which is a new um, simply, I mean, Stepmania 5 feature, um, in the save folder under uh, machine profile. Um, you might have several profiles on your machine, but for this, in this case, there's only one. There'll be a, the, the same stats.xml file is saved there. So this will actually be saved on your machine if you have this set up. So you can just pull it, pull that file off of the machine, and then just upload it into this form. There is one caveat to that, um, and it has to do with the way the file is formatted and how your machine is set up. So if you look at a song on GrooveStats and you see this USB upload path, in this case it, it always starts with uh, uppercase S songs, then it has the pack name and the song name. Um, if you take a look at this example, this is the stats.xml file and this is one of the songs that I have, uh, I have a score saved. It has to match uh, the path, the USB upload path on GrooveStats exactly. And some reasons why it, mo it might not is that if you didn't name your songs directory songs, or if you renamed your packs for whatever reason, then when you upload it through this method, it's not going to match up with GrooveStats and it just won't upload the score. So uh, one thing that you can do is just make a copy of this stats.xml and then just do a find and replace to, to fix all of those before uploading it to GrooveStats. That's just a workaround to make it match the USB upload path. And the previous method, the QR code method, doesn't have this problem. So if you upload using QR codes, you really don't have to worry about the path matching at all. The last method is just to upload the scores one by one manually uh, and enter them into the website. So there's this link called Update Songs. And then it brings you to this interface, and all you have to do is just search for the pack, find the song that you want to edit, and click Edit. And then you can enter the score here. So you can say, like, I got a 99.99, which I didn't, so I won't put that in. But you just hit Update, and it submits your score. So you can manually enter anything. If, if the previous two methods don't work, or you know, for whatever reason you don't have access to those methods, you can just manually enter your songs at the end of your set. So those are the three methods that I know to upload scores to GrooveStats. Um, I think GrooveStats is great. I've been using it for a long time to track my progress um, as I've been playing ITG. It's always nice to be able to browse through and see what other people are doing, um, sending them challenges, um, and of course seeing how your scores rank up with everyone else. One of the big downsides to GrooveStats, I think, is that it only has a certain selection of packs um, so when you're browsing through you'll see that that 
you know, if you're playing something obscure or extremely new, sometimes it isn't on here and then when you upload your score, it isn't ranked. So it just doesn't show up anywhere. Um, but I mean, most of the popular packs um, that are like of high quality are on here and they're out, they are ranked and people upload scores for them. So that's it. Use Groove Stats.